what are the top three crypto hardware wallets that I use to keep my crypto safe? First, you might wanna know if you don't already, what is a hardware wallet? I'll talk to you about that. I'll show you the three wallets that are the best. I'll talk about keeping different cryptocurrencies in there, and then I'll thank you for watching. If you want the best experience and to ask me any questions you have anytime and to join my crypto coaching community, I've rebranded it to Jerry Banfield University. We have 50 plus online classes, weekly group discord calls, and you got direct access to message me and ask me anything, anytime. So uh, what is a hardware wallet? A hardware wallet is something physical that you use to keep the private keys for your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, and your altcoins. Why is it important to have a hardware wallet? Because the opposite of a hardware wallet is a software wallet or an online wallet or a web wallet. These wallets are vulnerable if your computer gets compromised by a virus, a keylogger, a scammer, a roommate, anybody that comes in and gets on your computer could potentially steal your crypto. And this is why the best way to store crypto is in a hardware wallet where you have to have physical access to the device where it's secured by some kind of access code or a pin code which allows you to keep your crypto safe. Even if you have a roommate, even if your computer gets taken over, your crypto in most cases with a hardware wallet should be safe. And uh, the question is what are the best hardware wallets to use? That depends on which cryptos you want to hold. I obviously have cryptos that I want to hold and I want the best way to keep them safe. And with hardware wallets, you also need to consider if you have a spouse like I do or children like I do, can I be prepared in case something happens to me that someone else can actually inherit or get my crypto if I can't access it? If you've got a web wallet, it would be very easy especially if you're the only one that knows the password, to just lose access to that if something happens to you. So hardware wallets provide an ideal combination of security and the ability to actually give the right person access to your crypto under the right circumstances. Although my wife has made a lot of jokes lately about how she's going to spend all the crypto, I said I could probably live with that if she did it. What you want to know for hardware wallets is which one is the best. So I'm going to start this off by telling you which one I think is the best. I've used a few different hardware wallets. Okay, really just two. You know, that a two, two is, I think you could say two is a few. But this is my favorite hardware wallet, is Tangem. I uh, was met a crypto developer the other day in person, and this was the first wallet he recommended to me. He's been in crypto for four years. He knows a lot about security, and this is his favorite wallet, and I'll show you that now. I'll also give you an overview of some of the other wallets we're going to talk about, and then I'll give you a detailed walkthrough of how Tangem works. So if you want to get a Tangem wallet, there's oh, the website, the official website is tangem.com, T-A-N-G-E-M.com. It is really cool because it has what looks like a credit card with a chip in it, and that chip stores your private keys, and there's no firmware updates to the chip. You can't even get access to your own keys within this wallet. You use an app on your phone, which then is secured with an access code, and you have then a either two or three cards I definitely recommend get three cards so that those cards plus your phone give you access to your crypto this to me is an ideal setup in most situations especially for holding Bitcoin and Ethereum depending on what you want to do with it so this is my number one option I'm going to give you a full tutorial of how this one works now my second choice and I got this on Amazon I know some of you are are too paranoid to even order on Amazon this, I checked, I went through the link. This is sold by Tangem. I was able to get same day delivery on this with 5% cash back. And uh, I verified that this is the exact listing from the official Tangem website. However, to be the safest, you can use the Tangem website directly, or maybe you could even use my referral code. I'll give you a little later. The second option is one of, and Tangem is fully open source. And that is important for the quality of a wallet is you want to have wallets that are open source. 
which means anyone can look at the code, anyone can look and verify that this is not some sketchy wallet that discreetly has a back door in it. I believe it or not, get offers from very sketchy people that are trying to sell scam wallets and they offer big money to sponsor videos and uh, thankfully, I it's obvious to me they're scamming, so I don't accept I don't accept any sponsorships on my crypto channel at this point, so I can give you the best information. If you so you got to be careful out there where you get these hardware wallets, and that's why I'm giving you a look at the ones I think are the best. So Trezor it, at Trezor.io, T-R-E-Z-O-R.io is one of the oldest in terms of it's been around the longest crypto wallets. It is open source and it does support a variety of different cryptos. This is a hardware wallet that you connect directly to your computer and this has support for more than Tangem does. And you can compare the two different kinds of Trezor wallets. They have the Model T, which is $219 and the Model 1, which is $69. Oh, what I love though about Tangem is that it's cheaper than the Trezor wallet. The time to use the Trezor wallet is if you're not that comfortable with a card in your phone, which I don't see why you wouldn't be, but if mainly if you want to hold a bunch of different assets on your wallet and kind of get a bit fancier and do more things with your crypto wallet, then you want to look over on the, the list of supported coins on the Trezor website to make sure it actually does what you want it to do. So if you look at the supported coins, you'll see the functions, you'll see buy, sell, swap on some of these. Some of these you just have buy and swap on them. And this offers a good collection, a bit more of a broad collection of cryptos with a long history of reliability and it costs a bit more. And you have to use the USB-C or USB-A cable with this as you saw before. So this has a USB-A cable, this has a USB-C and there's others. So this has a lot of supported coins and tokens on these and uh, this, I'm considering getting a Trezor now. However, for my setup, what I really want to do is be able to stake Solana on a hardware wallet. And unfortunately, if you look over on the Solana documentation, the Solana command line is only supported in the Ledger Nano S and Ledger Nano X. So the third wallet I will recommend is actually Ledger. Now I've realized, I'm not like I've had my eyes shut or anything, I realized that Ledger just did a total public relations blunder with their new recovery service where they will actually have the ability to generate your seed phrase or to take your seed phrase off the device and send it out to third parties. Now that is a massive violation of trust and that's why I had all my Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, you know, good amount, all of it was on my Ledger and uh, I took it off there because of this breach of trust. That said, there's no other hardware wallet right now that I'm aware of that I can stake my Solana in in such an easy way and I've already got my Solana staked in my ledger. And Solana right now is less than 10% or getting up towards 10% of my portfolio and I'm getting like 7% staking it. So I definitely want my Solana staked. I can just let my Solana sit in my Tangent wallet and I could put my Solana in a Trezor wallet if I wanted as well, although it doesn't look like it's supported directly on the website. You'll see you can't eat. It doesn't look like it's supported at all, but I'm kind of like, really? So actually, I don't know for sure, but it has Solana listed. I might not be able to actually even put Solana at all on the Trezor hardware wallet. And there's others like Tron, Cosmos internet computer that are not supported at all on Trezor. So make sure and check that before you buy Trezor. However, Ledger has fantastic support. There's a Ledger has the biggest amount of cryptos that are supported on it. And that's what is so great about Ledger is there's so many things you can do with it. For example, Trezor does not support Multiverse X. It doesn't support Polkadot, Solana, Tron, 
Cosmos and Ledger supports all that stuff. You can you can even stake it directly in there. So I see that having a Tantrum and a Ledger both is a great combination for me. What sucks about the Ledger though and the Trezor, you have to use a recovery phrase. And if anyone gets a hold of your recovery phrase, they can steal all your crypto. With the Tangent Wallet, if they get a hold of your card and your access code or more than one of your cards, they can steal your crypto. So to me, the, the Ledger is a nice setup for w things I'm actively using and staking like for Solana. So I've got Solana on here, but the majority of my crypto is on Tangent. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set this up right now because for most newer crypto investors, that means if you've been in crypto less than two years, I'd say you're newer. If the ideal scenario is generally to just have Bitcoin and Ethereum, more on that and lots of the other videos I've done. If you want to see more, much more in that recommendation, check out you know, the video I did on I'll Fix Your Crypto Portfolio. Every crypto investor needs to see this altcoin statistic. Check those two out. And long story short, if you're newer in crypto, you need to be very careful researching and picking which cryptos to get into. Bitcoin and Ethereum are lower risk and there's still plenty of rewards. And this looks like the best way to hold on to Bitcoin and Ethereum even better than a Trezor. So, and it's cheaper and it's more flexible in usage. You don't have to have that recovery phrase at all. But if you lose all the cards for Tangem, you will lose access to your crypto and there's no way to get them back because the only place the private keys are is directly on the card. So while this is very secure and you've got some backup cards, if you lose two of the cards and you've got a third one, you can just buy another Tangem and send it over to that Tangem. So those are the big things to know about this up front. Let me show you how to set this up. So this, you order it and it comes with just the three cards. Then you download the Tangem app on iOS or Google Play, or maybe Solana will get that out on their store once the Saga is available. Then you just go, once you've installed the app, you click on Create Wallet. Once you create the wallet, what it will do is you will, it your phone will generate the keys on your card and create a secure wallet. And the only place those keys will be is on the card. And that's why this is so secure and ideal for holding Bitcoin and Ethereum. Then you have your backup wallet. So you start off, you pick one of your cards to be your primary wallet, whichever one you set up first and initiate the key generation process on. Then you'll need to grab your backup wallet and click backup now and set both of those backup wallets also. Once you do that, you can only have a maximum of two backup cards. Then you go through and hold them by your phone, click on finalize backup. And you're wondering what kind of phone that can do this. As long as you have something, an iPhone 7, I believe, or newer, it has to have the chip reader technology in it. So where you could just hold your phone up next to something and pay with it, it's gotta have that technology in it. Once you've done that to set your cards up, then you need to create an access code. And this is how you're able to just keep these cards and not have to worry about someone stealing just one of your cards. You create an access code and that access code is then it keeps your wallet where you have to enter that access code or have more than one of the cards to unlock it. So you wanna create a secure access code that you've got committed to memory. And what's really great is you can use your biometrics to uh, unlock this instead of your access code once you've set your access code up. So on my phone, on my Tangem app, I'm still so old school. I've got the fingerprint iPhone and because I take pride in seeing how long I can have an iPhone before I get a new one. And I enjoy not spending money on new iPhones. Now, never mind that if you actually look on my desk, there are technically three iPhones on this desk an eight plus an eight and then a seven. So don't worry about that. I got one, my wife's old iPhone eights here for my camera. I got her sister's old phone here is my dedicated phone number that I have if you're in Jerry Banfield University, there's a dedicated phone number you can text and WhatsApp me on. And that's, that's this phone right here. That's just for you to text or WhatsApp anytime. So you create this access code 
and then you enable Touch ID or Face ID or whatever you use on your phone, and then you can unlock your wallet just with your face or your finger, but you still need that access code in case you have to switch phones because the access code is the same one for all your cards, and if you lose access to this phone, you'll need the access code to set it up on another phone. So once you've got the access code, then you need to go through and scan both your backup cards again to put that access code on them. Once you've done that, your wallet is set up and ready to go. And if you notice the timestamps on these, I mean, this was extremely quick to set up. Like I downloaded the app, started at 9.48 a.m. here, and we're done at 9.52 a.m. This is super simple and beginner friendly, which is why I've recommended it. Once your wallet is set up, the interface by default will start with Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you want to add something besides Bitcoin and Ethereum, click on Manage Tokens. It'll give you a whole list of things that you can add and networks that it's on. You can store Solana. You've got XRP, USD, BNB, Tether, and a bunch of different networks. This has a lot of tokens, but the about all you can do with most of the tokens directly is to... Uh, buy and sell or send and receive them directly in tandem. However, they do have a Wallet Connect application that you can use to connect with third-party applications to make transactions. But I have not found a way that I can use Wallet Connect to stake my Solana currently. If I can do that, I will move my Solana off the ledger and get it in here. That does add a significant layer of complexity, so I'm not going to go into that right now because I haven't even figured all that out myself yet. So if you want to add a new token, you pick the network, you click on, you click save changes, and then that'll put it up there. If you enjoy Tangium and want to refer it to other people, they do have a referral program. You can get five USDT on Tron. Not sure how they picked that out. And your friend will get a 10% discount as well when you buy on the official website. So if you want to hook a fellow up with $5 in USDT on Tron, and get a 10% discount when buying. Use that code here, which is 5UMS4P. If you use that code, you uh, I'll link put that in my link tree as well. You can use that and get a 10% discount on your tangent. I guess I probably should have said that up front, but it's $5. Even if 100 of you do it, that's 500 and yeah, I'm not re-recording this video for potentially $500. <laughs> it's fine, you know, whatever. Don't worry about that. But thanks a lot for watching this. Really appreciate your time here. If you found this information valuable, you should see some of the other videos on my channel. This is a channel dedicated to giving you the best quality crypto educational material out there. And if you want me to tell you what I think of specific cryptos, check out Jerry Banfield Crypto Reviews, where I destroy crappy altcoins every day. If you want the best experience with me, I just rebranded my and changed to one single offering on my website. It's called Jerry Banfield University. I've just started offering weekly group calls that all of you can join. And I've got a Discord server for everybody in Jerry Banfield University. You can direct message me. You can text me anytime. And uh, everyone that's in the crypto coaching community is in Jerry Banfield University. And uh, now if you uh, don't even care about crypto, I've also, you know, if you're a YouTube creator or you want to work on your lifestyle design, you uh, Jerry Banfield University has got over 50 online courses for you. My hope is that it's the very best value you've ever had in your life for educational and mentor coaching uh, subscription. So I've also made it extremely affordable. It's $50 a month now, and uh, I would love to get to know you better in Jerry Banfield University. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next video, or I'll see you on the next group call.